Boker Tov, good morning everybody, another beautiful day, Baruch Hashem. Uh, we're continuing now in the Tefillah, it's unbelievable, we're in the Amidah. We finished the first uh, section, we're going to be focusing not on every single part of the Siddur, that would, that would be a little too much for right now. But we're basically going through the sections of the uh, Siddur. Right now we're in the middle part of the Amidah. Yesterday and the day before we spoke about the beginning part, where we just talk about the praises of Hashem. How Hashem is huge, He's amazing, He does Tehayat HaMetim, we try, he's, forget about it. He is the Kol Yachol, as they say, They're totally able to do everything. But now we come into the middle part of the Amidah, of the silent prayer, and that talks about our requests. And the first request off the bat is, Atah Honela Adam Da'at. Da'at, what does Da'at mean? What does wisdom mean? Wisdom, da'at, is the ability to make decisions not based on our desires, but based on thought and our spiritual goals in life. And that's what separates us from animals. And that's the first thing we ask for, because once you have wisdom, you have everything. You can figure out everything. Wisdom is the greatest. Shlomo HaMelech was, when he had one request, he asked for wisdom. And wisdom got him everything else that came with it. And after we have wisdom... There are two more berachot I want to talk about today. We say, Hashivenu avinu letoratecha. Hashem, our Father, bring us back to your Torah. And then we say also, Selach lanu avinu kihatanu. Please forgive us because we sinned. And these are the only two berachot that have the name of Father. And it's, it's a very important thing we need to discuss now because we're entering Elul, the month of Elul. I am to my beloved and as my beloved is to me. And there's so many different ways that we talk about Hashem. He's the king. He's the Melech. We're going to be saying a lot. Melech, right? When we get to Rosh Hashanah, Hashem is the king. But at the same time, we also talk about Him as our father. And why are these two berachot the ones that we call Hashem our father? So the first thing we have to understand is that Hashem is... The Kol Yachol, as we said before. He's the Melech. He's the king. He's huge. And that king is my father. Wow. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> we have this dual relationship. We have this great king. The king of the world, of the universe. But he treats us like our father. And if you look at the way that the, the, the setup is, Hashem, give us the knowledge to see you in the world. And then we say, our Father, bring us back to your Torah. And after we pray to come back to the Torah and we realize where we have to fix things and make, become better, because a father always wants to hear from his child. A father always wants to help him be successful. So even though Hashem is this great king, He loves us. That's the chizuk of the day. The chizuk of the day is you have a father in heaven who is the most powerful being, but he's your father, and a father will never turn away his child. Have a great day.